Hi everybody, Tristan's here. Welcome to Trist time. As so as you guys know, this is the last day, you know, of February of Black History. Now I want you guys to understand one thing, you know. This has been nothing but a celebration of history. Of every little thing about what went on back in the day, but most importantly, it's not about, you know, slavery or pain and everything else. I've enjoyed telling all of you guys a lot of things about what about this month. You know, we celebrated Valentine's Day, we celebrated Mardi Gras, but we continued on celebrating black history. You know. You know, basically, you know, creating legacy. You know, believe me when I tell you, back in the day, I mean, even to this day, now to me, like, you know, here's the thing. Black history should not always be, be a whole month. It should be the entire year because we continue to make history the entire year for many years and everything. And we're going to continue to make history through all of it, too. No matter what, okay? Not just us, but the future is going to continue making history that nobody is not going to forget and everything else. But this is basically what the story is about. It's about, about, how the sto about the story about how everyone who paid the way back in the day paid the way for all of us to continue their legacy today. Story is called How the Story Begun and How It Continues from Maya Angelou. May God rest her soul. Hi everyone. As the celebration of Black History continues, I have to say the history is still continuing on to one generation to the other. As many famous African Americans made their legacy, others, others are continued what they started, which is true. Many, many people who read their story and seen how everything went with them and see what they got started. And if many of them didn't finish what they started, some have finished for them and everything else, how they wanted it to be remembered. The, you can dream like Martin. Lead like Harriet, fight like Malcolm, write like Maya, speak like Frederick, dare like Shirley, think like Gravery, reclaim like Maxie, educate like W.E.P., challenge like Rosa, inspire like Obama. Which is the truth. You can like do all of this in every way than one. Now, or you can make your own legacy that no one will ever forget. And it will be a legacy to celebrate. Some would say there's no way an African Americans can make history in sports. We've heard that for many years. And trust me, guess what? The proof is in the history books. Jackie Robertson, the first black baseball player in in the Major League Baseball. Jesse Owens, five-time world record holder in track. Jack Johnson, the first black heavyweight boxing champion of the world. Fritz Pollard and Bobby Marshall, the first black football players in the NFL. Bill Russell, the first Black coach in the NBA. See, that right there showed you shows you that many African Americans made a lot of history in sports. Politics. So many leaders have become governors, mayors, and presidents. Most were African American men, but now another history that was 
was made this year that will be celebrated for years to come. And that is Camelia Harris, the first African-American woman to be the vice president of the United States of America. And believe me when I tell you, that right there is a history to celebrate because nobody will never forget that. This is my thing. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Which is true. Nobody will never forget that. And everything. We made a lot of people feel so much from sports, music, politics, and science. The ones that paved the way their story of their life have end, but their legacy lives and continues on with the future of today. Long live the history. Which, believe me, the history is, is, the, is worth celebrating everything. But most importantly, you know, this history has, has been about the people who paved the way for all of us up today. But I've enjoyed telling black history stories because, believe me, without this, none of us would be, be here today. You know, this is about celebrating history celebrating love, celebrating how far we've come for our families and from our friends and from everybody who stood and believed in all of us. And it's going to continue to go on to this day because, his, because no matter what, history will continue to be made in every and everything, believe me, in sports and music, politics, science, you name it, is going to continue. You'd be the first some someone in anything, and trust me when I tell you, when you be the first, trust me when I tell you, somebody else is going to want to become the second, and someone else going or somebody's going to be the first something else in anything else too. So as always, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed Black History. I hope you guys enjoyed Valentine. I hope you guys enjoyed Mardi Gras this month. And I hope, so I hope you guys be ready for next month because next month is March. We got a lot going on. We got St. Patrick's Day. We got spring break. You name it. We got like spring forward coming around. So if you guys got to remember to change your clocks around. No, go back, go forward, because we're going to have more day, less night. But as always, you know, this has been Trist Time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you all. God bless you.